Hey, I'm Josh, full-time Amazon, full-time eBay seller. Today we're at the bins. I didn't have time to film a proper intro because I got here right when they opened. Let's just open up the eBay app and see where we're at. We're at around $38,000 sold for the last 90 days, about 1,100 items sold. Let's do a bins haul today and let's just get into it. It starts with digging and digging and more digging is on the menu for today. Slightly cloudy with a chance of digging. We got to get in here and find the good stuff. Just call me Dirk Diggler. Don't call me that. Nobody calls me that. Okay, never mind. But we got to get in here and find the good stuff. A few hours later. Okay, so I'm off to the side. I've been digging for a few hours. Let's see what we found. Okay, we got this Nike men's fleece or club fleece hoodie. It's got some standing on the front. Uh, if that doesn't come out, I can still sell that for an okay profit. But I am a stain wizard. And then we've got this super heavyweight. It's an older tag. It's Duluth Trading. It's this men's heavyweight canvas jacket, hooded quilt line. This thing probably weighs like eight pounds. It's going to cost a fortune, but it's still worth it because it'll sell great. And then we have a Orvis men's just basic full zip fleece here. Great condition. This will sell for about $20 plus shipping. Nothing special. We got the Ohio State center swoosh Nike hoodie. Uh, I'm cooler because my swoosh is in the center and yours is on the side. Get out of here. That's a $20 profit. Okay, so then we have this older uh, Umbro football soccer warm-up thing. I'm not describing this very well. That should sell for over 20 bucks. And we have a vintage Lee men's denim jacket. This looks like it's from the 90s. I sold one of these yesterday. I think it was for 35 or 40 bucks. This one's in pretty good condition. I suspect it will sell the same. And this is USA made vintage. The brand is called, I forget what it's called. It's called Pioneer Wear. And it's a corduroy men's blazer and it has these real leather accents up at the top. The kids are calling that mixed media these days. It's just a nice jacket. This should sell for about 40 bucks, no problem or more. We got a women's foot joy, uh, full zip performance, whatever this is, jacket. It's got a, an embroidery, which actually looks kind of cool. The embroidery won't really diminish the value too much, and pink's always a good color. We got a polo Ralph Lauren men's turtleneck. These surprisingly do well, and white is a scary thing to pick up at the thrift store or the bins, but I looked this over pretty good, and I don't see anything wrong with it. Those sell pretty decent. We got NYDJ jeans. That stands for not your disc jockey. No, it doesn't. It does not stand for that. These are just pull on jeans. Those sell pretty well in that style. We got an older tag. This is a Y2K Levi's men's sleeveless denim shirt, light wash, and it's manufactured to be sleeveless. So whoever gets this is going to look extra hard. That should sell okay. We got a free people women's. It's like a chambray denim shirt. Free people's kind of trash, but at the bins, I'll pick it up. It's got some cool, like, accents on it that, whatever, that's paisley on the inside or back. This was a good piece. Thomas Keeling. It's made in England, and it's just, like, that old-school fisherman-style sweater that has that right color and thickness to it. That should sell for 30 bucks, No problem. It's in good condition. We got the Wrangler FR, flame-resistant rigs, uh, carpenter jeans. There is almost always some kind of staining or wear on these, but they're in pretty good shape. OxyClean should knock that out. Even if it doesn't, they'll still sell. And this one's a little bit of a gamble. It's just a women's lamb's leather uh, midi skirt. It's in good condition. I don't even know what the brand is. It's vintage -y. I think that'll sell for over 20 bucks. And we got a Banana Republic men's crew neck basic sweater. I like the color on this. And it was a wool cashmere blend. Otherwise, I wouldn't have picked it up. If you want to do well as a reseller, you need to know what sells within like Banana Republic and J. Crew for around twenty dollars because you're swimming in that stuff here at the bins, and that's a piece that'll do okay. We got a Tommy Bahama men's silk pants. Uh, they're pleated. They're in a really large size. These do okay in large and smaller sizes. That'll sell for around twenty bucks. Again, we got a J. Crew piece, and it's got two things going for it. It's slim fit. And it's 100% linen, and we're going into the spring buying season. So I think that'll do okay. Buckle black jeans. These do pretty well. It's got a nice wash on it, and they're in good condition. These always sell eventually for decent money. We got a Billabong women's hoodie. Uh, this, is, this is not a great pickup, but it does have a couple things. It's got some of those studding on it, which will increase the value slightly. And it's got a rainbow uh, and some spell out. So that'll sell for like 15 to 20 
We got the Nike fleece joggers here. These are men's and they do have like the swoosh down there on the legs. So that increases the value a little bit. Those should sell for about $25 plus shipping. And we got the Air Jordan Nike tapered jogger sweats. These are a classic. They do pretty well if they're in good condition. I always pick those up for two bucks. Polo Ralph Lauren jeans and a good size 34 or 32. Those are the Hampton relaxed. Any men's polo jeans in good conditions at the bins, I'll grab them any size, any style. They do pretty well. We got the vintage Nike on the gray tag with just these relaxed fit, uh, warm up basketball, whatever you want to call them. Uh, those should sell for 20 to 25. The Vineyard Vine Slim Fit Crosby shirt. It's a chambray denim button down, excellent condition. Uh, at the bins, I'll definitely pick this up. It's lightweight, should sell for about 20. And these are Nike, I can definitely see the swoosh there. Okay, these are Nike on field tapered sweats I can see down there and they're Chicago Bears, excellent condition. Uh, definitely a pickup at the bins. And we've got a Dickies quilt lined, size XL, gray canvas hooded jacket, heavyweight. This should do fine, definitely for around that $2 price. I'm gonna grab that all day. We got another pair of uh, buckle black jeans uh, in a different style. I think, like I said, any style, any size. Oh, there's a stain on the leg there. I think I can get that out. Even not, I can still sell that for around 20. We got Banana Republic, Aid in Chino. So like some of this Banana Republic stuff will sell for close to $20. I could take those two, they're in the same size, lot them together and turn like three dollars into 30 no problem and look away don't judge me okay this is embarrassing we have an express women's corduroy uh mini skirt it's new at tags these things retail for a lot these mall brands can do okay i'm going against the comps here i'm getting it anyway uh this is actually a good pickup polo ralph lauren size what is that xlt or 2xlt it's got some staining but it's just surface stuff on there i can literally just scratch it off with my finger, so that'll come off just in the wash. These sell great, especially in larger sizes. Can't go wrong with that. What else have we got here? Eddie Bauer fleece line pants. They're the outdoor hiking pants, and you can see they've got that that knee, that kind of like buckled knee for people who I think they do rock climbing or whatever. People like that style, so they should sell for over 20. This is a great shirt. Everybody passed on this. It's Roosevelt's these sell for silly amounts of money some of these design shirts this will sell for 50 bucks easy we got a Levi's men's this is a 3XL just plain button up I like the coloring of this and the size that'll sell for about 15 bucks give or take women's silver jeans the boot and flare uh, boot cut and flare are doing pretty well right now these are in good condition I go against the comps on women's silver jeans and I can sell those for around 20 bucks. This sweatshirt is super weird. It's Nike all over print, which is great, but it's the weirdest cut. It has like the arms are almost coming out of the waist and it's, it's cropped. I don't know what's going on with this, but I do know this is absolutely going to sell pretty well on eBay. It looks like there might be some minor staining down there. I thought about tossing this back. It's just a Red Wings NHL licensed polo, but it is new with tags. And if you can get this for a buck, I think you can sell this for 15 to 20. We got a North Face women's uh, soft shell jacket, excellent condition, good color. That should sell no problem. Wrangler all terrain gear, ATG. That's what that stands for if you see it. Uh, they're men's pants. Well, really this whole line for Wrangler does really well. And you can't go too wrong with it for a buck or two. American Eagle slim straight jeans, really almost any American Eagle jeans uh, that are in good condition the, at the bins I'll pick up. And they're in a really good size. They're a size 28 by 32. Those should sell for around 20. And that's Carhartt. You can see on the button there, it's just canvas. These are lined canvas ductwork, double knee, women's, uh, vintage USA made. Uh, the women's Carhartt stuff is doing exceptionally well. At least this winter it was. And then I've got a stack of Levi's down here. Just all in good sizes. Waist 30, 32, 34 for the most part. Uh, in all in good condition, different styles, 514s, 505s, 541s, 511s, 527s. You really can't go wrong with those smaller sizes, any size, any color, and I'll grab those. Okay, so I'm thinking about getting ready to go to lunch here, but I do have some contraband. You can see there in my cart, I smuggled in like a bag of these chips because you get hungry after you're doing this for a couple hours. So um, I was going to go to lunch. But then they're doing this double rotation where they're bringing out 
like two extra rows of carts here. One of them's almost done. So you can see all the people waiting off to the side. So I might wait until this one's done and grab a few more things before I hit the lunch room. Okay, so they brought those out and about 45 minutes later, this is what I came up with. Athleta women's jeans. These are great. Those should sell for over 20. I think this used to be a good brand. It's called First Form. Uh, it's a hoodie. I'll have to check comps on that, but that should sell for around 20. And I'm thinking about grabbing this. You've got this U.S. military digital camo, but usually these are in that like grayer, lighter color. You don't usually see them in that dark, like woodland color. So I'm going to give those a shot. Another pair of Levi's 505s in a good size, pretty good condition. We got the Polo Ralph Lauren custom fit. Eh, we're going to toss that back. Get out of here. That only sell for about $12.99. And that's another pair of Levi's in good shape. Lacoste, this is actually a good pickup. It's a quarter zip. Uh, men's sweater in excellent condition. Size, it doesn't matter. I think it was size large. That'll sell well. What else do we got? Uh, Lululemon, Lulu at the bins. But get out of here. Trash. Not even going to pick it up. Uh, Kappa Kappa sweatpants. These do well. These tapered joggers with that lady print on them. Those should sell for over 20. They look like they're in pretty good shape. Let's get them. Uh, this is a brand called Cupcakes and Cashmere. I just sold a sweater last week for $22 that was similar to this. So we're going to grab that. And you really can't go wrong with true religion jeans. You can spot them with the horseshoe on the back. These are the Gino. It doesn't matter if it's a men's pair or women's pair. You pick it up. If they're in good shape, it'll sell. At least in my opinion. Uh, silver jeans, Pioneer. These are like the boot or flare. Got a nice wash on them, dark wash with the light fading on them. Distressing. Those should sell well. We got a Polo Ralph Lauren button-up multicolored. This is a really nice. It's almost like a, not canvas, but heavy like Oxford knit. That should do well. These are Gap women's overalls. I don't pick up a lot of Gap unless it's new with tags or it has some kind of great material to it but these overalls do okay especially in the baggie oh that's my shirt okay so <laughs> never mind that now we're going to lunch all right i'm back from lunch did some more digging got some more stuff columbia women's puffer jacket that's okay it's kind of a saturated brand but that'll still sell and what is this this is a brand called Catherine's. they make plus size women's stuff at retails for a decent amount in larger sizes i'll pick that up especially new with tags it was 5x judy blue jeans these are great they don't look at like anything special, but in any size, any style, any color, those are a win at the bins. This is a little suspect. It's Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a women's linen button-up shirt. It's got a crest on it. I think this will do okay in the spring. 15 to 20 bucks. Somebody will buy that. Women's North Face. It's a men's hoodie. It's just a classic North Face that you can always sell that for okay money. American Eagle Women's Kick Boot Jeans. The Kick Boot ones do okay. And the super high-rise flare stuff does pretty well for women's. Otherwise, I don't touch too much of it. Women's Spanx always do really well. These jegging pull-on things, distressed. I don't know. Maybe those will probably sell for 25 bucks. This is a pretty good men's brand called Carbon to Cobalt. It's a heavyweight, real chunky-looking sweater there. Those do pretty well. This is a little suspect. It's a brand called Charles and a Half. They make... Uh, men's clothes this is just a like an athleisure jogger that should sell for about 15 plus shipping this is a brand called howitz i think they make patriotic stuff a hoodie their hoodies do okay this should sell for i don't know 25 to 30 give or take women's democracy ab solution jeans uh, these ab technology and solution jeans they sell for a lot they retail for a lot and the used market's still pretty good Levi's, canvas, men's, um, cargo pants in a dark color. They're okay, nothing special. Carhartt fleece lined, uh, relaxed fit jeans. And they have just the right amount of wear on them. So they're, they're kind of stylish at that point. There's a hole, but it hasn't completely worn through the fleece lining. Those should sell for about 30. Vigos jeans, the Chelsea boot cut. I don't pick up a lot of Vigos jeans. The boot cut ones do pretty good. The Dallas boot cut and that one. And you always want to check that spot right there because it always wears thin right there for some reason. I don't know why, but those look pretty good. we got the Polo Ralph Lauren Big Pony with a, some Olympic print stuff on it. This is actually a boy's hoodie, but I still think this is worth picking up uh, for under 2 bucks. So we're going to grab it. This is a good one. Everybody passed on this. I watched someone pick it up and then throw it back. It's Polo Ralph Lauren cargo shorts, but they're the military series. You can tell because it's got that 
like cinch there on the back and it's just got that and that print right there on the waistband those sell really well ll bean lamb's wool large tall is a great size it's in good condition and these buttons right here these 3d kind of like wooden looking buttons always sell pretty well banana republic nothing special here i think that was i don't know if it was linen it's just kind of like a denim chambray button down legendary white tails is a pretty decent brand it's got a corduroy accent on it that'll do okay and we got another nike fleece hoodie it does have some discoloration right there i won't be able to get that out it's like almost bleaching or someone put makeup on it or something it stained it and they've got another stack of levi's 514s and a good size 559s 569s 505s those will all sell for around 20 dollars, give or take okay so before i leave i want to check the throwback pile and i did find a patagonia men's i think they're just swim shorts patagonia stuff does really well i'll grab it at the bins and we got a pair of wrangler q baby jeans these retail for a lot and they always sell for i don't know around 20 bucks depending on the size so i'll definitely grab those and we're gonna head over to the register and call it a day. I only got about 88 pieces today. I like to get about 100, but I did the best I could. I'm Josh, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. That's what I did today, and I'll see you next time.